multivitamin mineral complex powder. Now the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. It's GMO free and it's got probiotics in it as well. Probiotics and prebiotics. Food for probiotics too. That's the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 and you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com or by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Also want to encourage you to check out my blog at pharmacistben.com which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you to my webmaster, Robert Lundgren, who does such a great job at that. That's pharmacistben.com. Okay, so fasting, super important. You guys, uh, I've gotten a lot of letters from uh, folks who want me to talk about fasting because Lent's coming up. Lent, uh, the fasting that you do during Lent is not like a really big-time fast because you are allowed to eat, at least according to the Catholic Church, once a day and still honor your Lent ab- obligations. But really, true fasting, if you really want to get the benefits of it, you've got to do a 24-hour fast or a 48-hour fast. You want to do it intermittently. You want to do it every couple of days, every three days, once a week, maybe a couple times a month. Just periodically give yourself a food holiday, a food break. Digestion is work. Absorption is work. And this is even under the best of circumstances. Even if you're just eating a salad, your immune system is going to become involved as the body has to purify and process and scout out the different kinds of components of foods to make sure they're friendly. There's a, there's a, a, a phenomenon called postprandial, prandial means eating or meals, postprandial inflammation. It's actually a microscopic inflammation that occurs after we eat anything, let alone the crap we eat. Uh, most of us are eating, even if we eat really good food. So just simply caloric restriction or fasting can go a long way towards improving immune response, inflammatory response, anti-aging. The body is using energy for all of its work, for all of its biochemical work. And when it runs low on energy, emergency systems kick in. It's kind of like when you have too many windows open on your computer, and your computer will go into safe mode. It can do the basics in safe mode, but it's not really a a healthy or fully functioning computer. Likewise, the body has limited resources, and the fewer windows it has open, or the the less work it has to do, the healthier it's going to be. The less work your body has to do, the healthier you're going to be. It's as simple as that, really. It's not complicated. Less food, healthier work, uh, healthier body. Less work, healthier body. Food processing, digestion, and absorption are the ultimate workload on the body. Fasting is like giving your body a vacation. Fasting is like a holiday for your digestive system. The same way human beings need vacations and holidays to do their best work, so does the body. The key reason for fasting and caloric restrictions beneficial effects is the release of precious resources for healing, for growth, for repair, for muscle building, and for anti-aging. And once you understand the mechanism behind the health benefits of fasting, the fact, the fast, fact that it gives the digestive system a break and that it frees up precious biochemical resources for health and wellness, you can see why it's not such a great idea to, to eat five or six meals a day. This is, this is more dietitian mythology. Just like uh, raising your metabolism is dietitian mythology. It's hard to rip on dietitians. You know, dietitians personally, I know some dietitians. They're nice people. But the science of dietitians, Dietetics, the mainstream science of dietetics is filled with mythological nonsense, such as making your metabolism faster, such as eating five or six meals a day. That's the conventional wisdom from, from dietitians, from government authorized dietitians, mainstream dietitians. I still talk to many folks who incorrectly believe that eating, they call grazing on foods all day, is a good thing. It's not a good thing. Grazing on foods is a very bad strategy, unless you're a cow or want to be a cow. If you eat all day, your digestive system is constantly working, and that means it's going to have less resources available to do the work of healing, to do the work of growing, to do the work of repairing, to do the work of building. And then there's a whole insulin connection to the benefits of fasting. Insulin, as we've said so many times before in this program, is a kind of master hormone in the sense that it upregulates many different cell activities. It increases many different cell activities. Insulin affects every single one of the 100 trillion cells in the body. Insulin upregulates the activities of every single one of the 100 trillion cells in the body. And the prime stimulus for insulin secretion is food. As soon as we eat any carbs or protein, or if we eat fats that are associated with carbs and protein, cells get drenched in insulin. They get an insulin bath. And in addition to 
to feeding cells, insulin also tells cells to divide and grow. It tells cells, insulin cell, sends cells the message to upregulate. Insulin sends cells the message to eat or to get nourished. Insulin tells cells to divide and grow. This is obviously important, but if we're not actually using all of these uh, uh, products that the cells are making in response to insulin, if we're not actually lifting weights, if we're not actually repairing, if we're nutritionally starved, if we're not exercising, if we have uh, live the typical American sedentary lifestyle, this upregulation, this increase in activity in cells is not a good thing. If we're constantly eating and insulin is constantly being secreted, eventually cells are going to just tune out. They're just going to stop listening to insulin. They're going to say, hey, look, we just saw you last hour, insulin. We're not going to upregulate again. We're tired. We're pooped. And eventually, cells will just basically stop listening to insulin. And you know what? That's called insulin resistance. And it's a big problem because insulin resistance occurs to, uh, to uh, f- the feeding of cells a lot quicker than it occurs to the growing of cells. Cells will become more resistant to insulin in terms of getting nutrients faster than they'll become resistant to insulin in terms of their growth, in terms of their division. And you'll still have enough insulin to make cells grow, to make cells divide, to upregulate activities, except now the cells are going to be growing and dividing and upregulating in a state of starvation. They are not going to get fed. Insulin resistance causes problems with cell feeding a lot faster than it causes problems with cell upregulation and growing, and that's a bad thing. That means cells are growing and dividing and upregulating under a condition of starvation, under a condition of nutritional deprivation. And that's why insulin or problems with insulin or insulin resistance is behind every single chronic degenerative disease you can name. Doctors call this this phenomena of messed up insulin associated with chronic degenerative disease metabolic syndrome. That's the fancy name for uh, for the disease state that's associated with cells not listening to insulin. Metabolic syndrome means everything and anything that can go wrong in the body goes wrong in the body. Problems with blood pressure, problems with the heart, problems with the brain, problems with chronic degenerative disease, autoimmune disease, inflammation. All of these are uh, uh, can be lumped under the general heading of metabolic syndrome, which is associated with cells not listening to insulin, which is associated with too much insulin and too much calories and too much food. Can you see why fasting can be so helpful and so important and caloric restriction as well? All right, I'm pharmacist. Ben got more to say when we come back from our break, and we'll take your phone calls as well. 855-660-4261 is our number. If you're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner, and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. While my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter how serious or trivial. 
legal. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Results will vary from case to case. Uh, we travel so much, and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets. But fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motorists and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and downstairs. Downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters for the love of clean water. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. All right. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, and I do have a couple more things I want to say about fasting. If you are experience, if you are uh, doing a fast, one of the easiest ways to get through that hunger, that just feeling where you got to have some food, which is mostly psychological for the most part, is to really feel hunger and experience hunger. The next time you're hungry, if you're not hypoglycemic and you're not, you know, feeling dizzy and woozy and you can't think and you're just kind of just regular hungry, why don't you just sit for a moment before you eat? You can still eat, but just sit for a moment and experience the feelings of hunger. So much of our eating behavior is reflexive. We feel hunger, boom, we're in the refrigerator. We're looking for something to eat. But if you're dieting and you're trying to lose weight, you want to experience caloric restriction, you're going through Lent, you want to give up, you want to fast, give up food for Lent for at least a day at a time or whatever it is, sit, next time you feel hungry or when you feel hungry, sit and experience the sensation of hunger. Just 
feel it. What the heck is wrong with hunger? There's nothing really wrong with it, as you'll find out, unless, as I say, you're hypoglycemic, you feel dizzy and woozy, or you're getting sick, nauseous, or something. Or something. The experience of hunger is nothing more than a, a tingle, a sensation. Sit with a tingle, sit with a sensation, and many times you'll notice that it will just pass, and you won't need to eat. And you do it again and again and again, and eventually you get the hang of the idea that Simply the sensation of hunger does not necessarily have to be linked to eating behavior. Again, I'm not talking about really severe starvation or hypoglycemia. I'm talking about just garden variety hunger that most of us assume means that we've got to go eat. If you can just experience that say, sensation of hunger, sit on the couch, feel the hunger, you'll probably, feel, you'll probably notice you don't even feel anything physical.